Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Now it's time for Saturday Night Football. Cloudy skies overhead for this match. There's a bit of light rain falling right now, which is not ideal. I welcome Gary Lyon with me as we prepare for this big game. G'day, Hutto. Tonight should be a great match. Tonight, West Coast and Port Adelaide. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top of the middle of the ground will walk out with us today. are ready for the players. The captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. West Coast wins the toss. Round 20. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Just waiting for the opening siren now. One down by Gavardi. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. He takes the shot. Finds a way to go along the ground. Smiles all round. He's kicked the first goal. Tap down. Collects the loose ball. A clean pick up. Is in his possession. Nice work from Crooks. Gets his first. Congratulated by his teammates. West Coast with their first of the match. Vardy won it down. Dixon wins the foot race. Clurie gathers it now. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. The kick from Cole. Barris with an easy mark. Looks up with a kick. Found space for an easy mark. Gaff drives the kick. Finds this one all by himself. A thumping kick. They chase after the loose ball. Yo gives away a free for in the back. Rockcliffe has resources out wide. Found a way to keep it alive. Puts boot to ball. Kennedy spent it before he earned it. And he stepped over the boundary line. Thrown in now. Vardy won the tap. Showed good control. Hurried kick. Handball's under pressure. Goes by hand to Dixon. Just gets it onto the boot. Hearn spills it, hands it out to open space. McGovern quickly onto the boot. Rioli gets the loose ball. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Gets him a reward for his efforts. West Coast with a marginal lead. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Thump by Hickey. 
Dug out the loose ball. Slick with the hands. Kelly clinks up with a chance to run. He takes the mark. Channels a long kick. Marks that ball uncontested. Got boot to ball. Rockley with the mark. Goes the long option. Found a way to keep balanced. The mark has been taken. West off plays on. Intercepted by Hickey. Hearn wins the ball in the air. Goes with the kick. Takes the mark. Burgoyne puts it on the boot. Eben turns a free kick. With a driving kick. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Hearn doesn't take the mark. Hit the man hard. Gathered by Barris. Just put it on the boot. Schofield applies a bump. Picks it up. Hearn with a penetrating handball. Shuey rushes with the kick. Couldn't complete the mark. Finding the loose ball was Burton. Showing some really good pressure there. Finds the loose ball. Ball gets cut off. Going for goal number two. Rioli has the kick. West Coast by seven points. Looking for options now. A great mark taken there. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Gaff going for number one. It's a huge kick, and it goes all the way. They get around him after that effort. West Coast had three in a row. Now they lead by 13. Won it down with the ball now. Power Pepper didn't mark it. Rosie slams it onto the boot. Scoops it up, kicks hurriedly. Off hands from Archie. Is accepted. Sweeping handball. The ball in the hands of Chewy. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. West Coast, 25, late Port Adelaide, 6. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Wins the ruck duel. She picks up the loose ball. You can already tell that's not too good. He looks injured. Can you tell us more, Gary? Doesn't look good, Hunter. It's hard to see him coming back on. Yo celebrates with the fans. 25 points the difference. One down. Taken by Fardy. This is Kelly. The ball spills to Dixon. Rides out the tackle. Takes possession. Gets a handball away. Uses it by foot. Ball up call. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Getting caught now. Brilliant chase. Giving it off with McGovern. He's got the footy in his hands. Takes a nice mark. 45 metres out. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. Ryan slams it towards goal. He delivers with a drop line. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Look at them celebrate that effort. The lead is now 31. West Coast are in front in the clearances, and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. Winning it was Vardy. Gets to contest the hard ball. Port Adelaide with some work to do as they go into quarter time, trailing by 31. West Coast could have come out and started well and shown they have what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one.
Let's see what the stats have to show. Port Adelaide haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. Thanks for that. We're ready for second quarter action. Vardy thrashes it. Controlled well off the bounce. Just gets it onto the boot. Can't take possession. Picked off the deck. They are desperate for a goal now. No problems with that kick from Rockcliffe. Celebrating hard. The power behind by 25. Hammers it. Shuey onto the ball. Good grab there for Brian. He decides to go for home. Ryan loves that goal. West Coast by 31. Barty with the hit. Gets on the end of this. Bo drops the mark. Yo elects to kick. An easy grab for Darling. He gets his hands on the footy. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Sinks the slipper into it. Barty collects it. Burgoyne runs onto the field. We'll get a stoppage. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gas? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. McGovern wins the foot race, manufactures the handball. Darling kicks hurriedly. Picks up the loose ball. Taken well at ground level by Ryan. The loose ball scooped up. May sends one up towards the wing. Schofield dug out the loose ball. Hacking it out of there. Kennedy takes a strong mark. 45 metres out. About to take the kick. Slight angle. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable! And they put it through! Kennedy celebrating hard. 37 points the difference. Guides it down. Wasting a lot of effort there. Taking a nice grab. Moves it by foot. Burton just gets it onto the boot. Dug it out. Gets a touch to the ball. Sutcliffe handballs. Hacks it out of there. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Kick by McGovern. A race for the loose ball. Didn't get away from the tackle. Showing some really good pressure there. Hickey got the tap. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Shuey flicks it over. He has the ball. An easy grab for Rioli. 45 metres out. Stabs at the kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Even moves the ball out of defence. A big contested grab. West Coast just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground and as a result find themselves losing this contest. Keeps it moving. Well collected. The ball's not loose. Archie collects the loose ball. Coughed up by Yo. They can create from this. Slams it onto the boot. Strong mark in the contest. A low stabbing kick. Kelly found some space and marked. Winds up and goes long. Great grab. West Coast have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Gathered by Schofield. The umpire will ball it up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's just not enough effort out there at the minute. The umpire will ball it up. Hickey gets it down. Up for grabs for Dixon. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Good mark there. Watts releases the ball. 
just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Puts it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. West Coast for allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Barris coming off for a spell. Now we'll get a ball up. Hickey aims for his man on the ground. My ball, says the umpire. Thrashes it. Unable to create the space. Big tackle. Hits the target by hand. The ball spills to West off. Missed the target. Shuey with quick hands. Duggan continues to find the ball. He's setting the example at the moment. Hartlett puts on a big hit. Good body work to win the mark. Sweeping handball from Mays. Easily takes the mark. Opportunity once again for Port Adelaide to put one through. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide still hopeful of reducing this margin. Hickey thumped it clear. Well collected on the bounce. Chose to kick it. Westall takes the mark. 50 metres out. It somehow pitched over the line, and it's a goal. Pretty happy with that one. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The score, West Coast 49, Port Adelaide 24. A good first half from West Coast. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? A big second half about to begin. Thumps it clear. Practicing some fancy moves. Decides to kick. Hurd uses it by foot. Jetta breaks the tackle. Looks to move it by foot. Shepard with the intercept. Good mark by Houston. Houston has resources out wide. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Rockler kicks it over the top of the pack. Slams it on the boot. Wines controlling the airways on this occasion. Moves the ball by foot. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Goes by foot. Cole has a great set of hands. He drives it. The boundary line wins this race. Schofield making his way onto the field. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Cole puts it to his advantage. Shepard just handballs into space. Darling leaps over the top. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Move it on. He might kick a goal. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. Darling getting the crowd involved. West Coast lead by 31. Taps it down. Yo leads all comers on the ground. He's having a fantastic game. Great attack on the ball carrier. Long kick there. Will it go all the way? It does. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around? She. The Eagles, 61. Lead Port Adelaide, 24. Punched away. Doing well was Vardy. Penetrating handball. Yo gets the handball away. He gains possession. He can take off after that handball. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Yeah, with that kick has increased the lead. He celebrates hard after that. Guided down nicely by Hickey. Goes short by hand. I hope that's not serious. But boy, he looks to be in a lot of pain. Gaz, what did you see there? He's coming from the ground now, Hello. but it didn't look right. She this is it all. Kennedy couldn't be happier with that goal. West Coast, cab four on the trot. The margin is 49. Hickey thumps it clear. 
Dixon just put it on the boot. McGovern had it, lost it. A desperately needed goal here. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. No doubt about it. His teammates rush over. Port Adelaide trying to get back to a manageable score. Tap came from Vardy. Cole has the ball. He has to hold on to those. Going for goal number three. He takes the mark. Distance no issue. It's all about the accuracy. And pumps it through the big sticks. No doubt about it. Ryan pumps through his third for the match. His kick stretches the lead. He acknowledges the crowd. Won the hit out. Power Pepper on the ball. Drives it out of the pack. Finds this and marks well. West Coast just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside field. Doesn't waste any time. Duggan, can he put it through? The mark is taken by Ryan. An impressive performance so far. This for a fourth goal. He loved that one. West Coast doing well at the moment. Slapped away. Kennedy won himself a free. Drives it long. Collected by Jonas. Wins the race to the ball. Uses it now. Mark me in space was out. Archie finds his man on the move. Gets a reward for his efforts. Now they lead by 61. Vardy won the hit out. Rushes with the kick. Great grab. Boat has resources out wide. Power Pepper coming on. There's not too much going on out there at the moment. Hickey aims for his man on the ground. Cole just too high with the tackle. Elects to kick. Gets into a good position to take that. Moves the ball by foot. Takes a simple grab. Kicks to the square. Ends up turning this ball over. Darling moves it now. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Shepard goes with the kick. Cole grabs that one. West Coast for allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Rockcliffe moves it by hand. Kept alive under pressure. Kicks it out of the fence. The mark has been taken. Moved on by Redden. A mark by Kelly. Hurry kick. Good mark by Chi. Lobs the handball. Shepard gets a quick kick away. Slams it on the boot. Cripps runs after the ball. Archie goes for territory. Kennedy tries his luck at goal. Soccer's it through for a goal. West Coast starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 97 to 30. Won it down. Cole. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are West Coast 97 to Port Adelaide 30. The Eagles believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. A high-scoring third term sees opportunity for both sides heading into the final quarter. on top of the ranking points. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Vardy gets it down. 
Gets the loose ball. Ball up call. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. Finds his man. Ball collected. Releases the handball. Boat hacking it out of there. Goes off the deck and through. Westhoff enjoying that goal. Margin in a really tricky situation. Vardy gets onto the ball. Ball up in the centre square. Vardy slaps it away. He wins possession. Ebert short by hand. Dixon hurried kick. A chance to reload the attack now. West Coast have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Finding the loose ball was West off. Cole wins the marking contest. He's got the football, man. Off hands. Shepard gets a quick kick away. Watts gets the loose ball. Quickly onto the boot. Drops the mark. It's cut off by Jetta. Fights the good fight. Gets the handball away. Cole brings it out of the pack. Uses it by foot. Gets into some space to mark this. Rosie has resources out wide. Takes the mark. 50 metres from home. The fans hoping this one goes through to give them a glimmer of hope. The ball ends up going to ground. Puts boot to ball. Watts leading the race to the loose ball. Dug out the loose ball. Shepard rushes with the kick. Marked by Kennedy. Tries to gain some territory. Jonas does well to mark. West Coast haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Kick goes astray, and it's out on the full. He intercepts the ball well. The ball finds Rockcliffe. With a driving kick, he gives chase to the footy. Off the deck. Houston kicks hurriedly. Stands tall and marks. Almost cut it off. McGovern soccers it forward. Burgoyne gains some territory. The ball mopped up. Just put it on the boot. Nobody can hold on here. Movement by hand. Gets a quick kick away. Williams goes off the ground. Gets it across the line. The Eagles have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Kennedy marks. Punches the kick. Takes that one strongly. Opportunity for McGovern. He goes for broke. He pops through the goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Port Adelaide have kicked the last two goals. Port Adelaide behind by 54. Hickey thumps it forward. Rockley gets the ball. Rockley didn't dispose of it correctly and hands it over. Redden shuts him down. A great defensive effort. Ends up turning this ball over. Burton sends one up towards the wing. Ball picked up. Had plenty of the ball. Power Pepper has it. Sinks the slipper into it. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. They just need to find a way to work back into the game right now. Ball tossed back in. Jetta got the hands for it. Well taken at ground level. Wants to keep it moving. Well picked up. Uses a short handball. Cleary moves it now. Collects the loose ball. Williams there to mop up. Does well to keep it in play. He gains possession. The power supporters delighted by that effort. Puts his second on the ball. He celebrates hard after that. Port Adelaide close the gap to 48. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. 
This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Hickey got a fist to it. Burgoyne just threw it. Move it on. Tips it towards half forward. So what could West Coast do with this opportunity in front of goal? Darling delivers with a long shot at goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. West Coast by nine goals. One down. Did well not to confuse himself. She drives the kick. Great mark under pressure. A spearing kick from Jonas. The contest, no match for him. You're right, Hutto. The kick from Hartlett. Just gave it away. Hearn releases by hand. A long way from home. And it goes a long way. What a goal. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 48. He did really well there and gets the reward. That's a really good team goal. The Eagles have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Kicks hurriedly. Jetta doesn't take the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Darling didn't mark it. Finds the loose ball. Just gets it onto the boot. The game never reached any great heights. And it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. Just a fantastic performance from the Eagles. They really put in the hard yards and they can enjoy the result. Coast have claimed the match with a final score of 103 to 55. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It's been a pleasure, Hutto, and we'll catch you next time. We grow as champions from within. Our